Hey everyone, it's Haley, and today I'm going to be filming my August wrap up. In August, I read 20 books. I don't know how that happened. I felt like I read like 10, but apparently I read 20. Um, this will probably be my last big wrap up for a while just because I am going to school in a week, so I won't be able to read as much. So enjoy it while you can. So yeah, I'm going to start with the books I'm reading right now. So I'm reading two books right now. The first one is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I have wanted to read this book for a really long time and I just started it like I'm six pages in, but I am so excited to be reading it. I've heard such amazing things about it, so I'm so excited. So then the next one I'm reading is City of Heavenly Fire by Cassandra Clare, this ginormous conclusion to the Mortal Instruments series. So I'm so excited to be finishing it. I'm kind of sad that it's over, but I'm really excited to finish it. Yeah. Okay, so now let's get into the other books that I read in August. So the first one I don't actually have on me because I got it from the library, but it's a graphic novel and it's Amulet Volume 1, um, which is the Stonekeeper, and it is by Kazu. I can't say your last name, I'm really sorry. But yeah, this is, I believe it's a middle grade graphic novel, and I did really like it. I thought um, it was a little bit too fast paced. I ended up giving it 4 out of 5 stars. And then the other one that I read that I do have, but it's like on a shelf over there underneath other books and I don't want to take it out. That is uh, Paper Towns by John Green. I reread this because the movie is coming out and I think I gave it four stars this time. Last time I gave it three stars. It's not my favorite John Green book but I still do obviously enjoy it because John Green is my favorite author. I almost just called him God. Oopsie. So now I'm going to try and go in order of when I read them, but no promises. So the first one, I'm not sure if I concluded this, included this in my July wrap-up, but is Asunder by Jody Meadows. This is the second book in the um, New Soul trilogy that I'm planning on doing a series review on, I think, and I love this series. It's so interesting and it's just different. Um, I can't obviously give you a synopsis of this one because it is the second book in the series, but I did really love it just as much as the first. I give it 5 out of 5 stars. Then after that I picked up Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets by J.K. Rowling. This is the second book in the Harry Potter series. I'm sure you know. Um, I have read this one before when I was eight and I really loved it and I loved it again. So good. Just so good. Next I read Prisoner of Night and Fog by Anne Blankman. I did a review on this on my channel so I will link it right here and also in the description box. Um, I loved this book. I give it 5 out of 5 stars. It's going to be a series actually, which I'm really excited about. This one takes place before, actually I should explain what it's about first. So this book, um, if you don't know, it's about Hitler's niece and she falls in love with a Jewish man and she's just trying to kind of find out who she is and she finds out who her uncle really is along the way. Watch my review if you want more, more coherent thoughts on it, because I'm really struggling right now. But yeah, this one focused on um, Hitler before he was in power, so I would think the next one's going to be when he's in power. I'm not sure if it's going to be a duology or a trilogy. I'm not quite sure yet. But yeah, this one was amazing. I definitely recommend it to everyone, and if I didn't say it already, five out of five stars. Next I read City of Fallen Angels by Cassandra Clare. I gave this one 4 out of 5 stars. It wasn't my favorite. I just felt like it was more of the same, droning on and on. I don't know. I mean, the whole Lilith thing I guess was interesting, but I don't know. It just wasn't my favorite. I just felt like it was just the whining and the blah blah blah. Then after that I read Me and Earl and the Dying Girl by Jesse Andrews. I gave this book 3 out of 5 stars, I believe. It was not my favorite. Um, it's about a girl who has cancer, and the main character, Greg, and his best friend, Earl, and Greg knew, used to know the girl who now has cancer, and his mom kind of forces him into being friends with her again, and I just found all the characters very annoying. It's not your typical book, um, because, like, what you expect to happen doesn't happen. It's just, it wasn't my favorite, and I did really like the fact that it was different though. It wasn't predictable and what you thought would happen didn't. I really enjoyed that. I just didn't find any of the characters likable. 
and I don't know, it just wasn't for me. A lot of people really love this book, it just wasn't my favorite. Then after that I read Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. This is the second book in the Infernal Devices trilogy. Oh my god, I love this series. Um, oh, so good. I like this one a lot better than The Mortal Instruments because it's kind of a different thing in every book I find. I just love it. Yeah, so good. And I obviously can't give you a synopsis since it's the second book in the series. Then after that, I read Titan's Curse by Percy Jackson. Nope, that's not it. Then after that, I read The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan. This is the third book in the Percy Jackson and the Olympian series. And I just love this series. They're so quirky, so fun. And I like that it's not the same plot line for every book. There's always something else which I really really love. And then I read Hollowed by Cynthia Hand. This book wasn't really what I expected it to be. I want to say I gave it four out of five stars. I find the main character slightly annoying and also the other characters are slightly annoying. Um, if you didn't know this book is about angels and that's all I'm really gonna tell you just because um, it's the second book so I can't really say much else. Then after that I read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland by Lewis Carroll. If you didn't know, Through the Looking Glass by Lewis Carroll, which is the sequel to um, Wonderland, is one of my favorite books. I read it for class last year without having read Wonderland and I just loved it. Oh, they're so quirky and just lovable. And I decided to read the first one um, this month since I got this beautiful edition with like awesome illustrations. I love it. And it was another one of my favorites. Five out of five stars. I just love the quirkiness of it and they're just so nonsensical and great that I know they're children's books but like I still just love them. They bring out the child in me and I just love them. So near and dear to my heart. And then after that I read Clockwork Princess by Cassandra Clare, the final book in the Infernal Devices trilogy and oh my god that cover. Oh, Tessa, you beautiful human being, except you're not a human being. Is that a spoiler? No, I don't think that's a spoiler. Oopsie poopsie. <laughs> so I really loved this book. Um, it's different once again, and it was just so good. It was a beautiful conclusion to the story, and it just, all of the feels happen whilst reading this book. Oh my god. Oh my god. This was definitely a 5 out of 5 star book for me. So now I have the books that I read for the Bout of Books 11.0 readathon. If you want to watch my wrap up video where I tell you like how many pages I read and all that, I'll link that down below. Um, so first I read Obsidian by Jennifer L. Armentrout. That's the first book in the Lux series. This is my first Jennifer L. Armentrout book that I read and I gave this one 4 out of 5 stars. It was good. It's just I something about it didn't make it a five star book for me. I do plan on continuing the series. It's just not one of my absolute favorites like it is for a lot of people. If you didn't know this is about a girl named Katie who is a book blogger which is really awesome. I love that aspect of the story and her next door neighbor ends up being an alien. So he's also a super hot alien which that helps and yeah it's just a fun story. It's cute, it's action packed at the same time, it's basically all of the things in one. And then after that I read The Graveyard Book by Neil Gaiman. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it. This book has some um, illustrations in it. Where's my favorite one? Oh, struggling to find it. Yeah, so this book has some beautiful illustrations in it, and it's about a boy named Bud, um, which is short for Nobody Owens, and he was raised in a graveyard, and the man Jack, who killed his whole family, is after him, and it's just such an eerie, creepy, but beautiful, cute story. Oh my god, I just loved it. I can't even describe it. It's just so good. I really enjoyed this. I think this may be one of my new favorites. I don't know, I need more time to digest it and then I will decide from there. And then after that I read Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Matson. I really loved this book. It's really hard for me to find a good contemporary. I'm kind of picky with that. But this one was also a 5 out of 5 star book for me. Um, what really made it for me was one, the ending. I loved it. And two, all of the like little quirky 
I want to find a good one. All the little like quirky things that are in here, like there's pictures, there's like little fun facts about like the states and everything like that they visit. So if you didn't know, this book is about a girl named Amy who her father just died in a car accident and her family is moving from California to Connecticut. So her job is to drive the car from California to Connecticut, but she's not comfortable driving. So a family friend named Rob, Rob, Roger, Roger um, comes and helps her and it's just about their journey along the way such a good story. I read it while I was one on a road trip, which I really recommend. It makes the road trip much more fun. And then after that, I read Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban by J.K. Rowling. This is the third book in the Harry Potter series, and five, of five, five out of five stars. Loved it. Oh, I just love the series, which most people do, so it's not like I'm much different. And after that, I just picked up this short novella, which is Life Before Legend by Marie Liu. I didn't really give this a star rating just because I wasn't sure and I couldn't really like judge the story off of it. Um, this is a prequel novella that follows Day and June, the main characters. It's before they meet. So I thought it was good. It's just I can't like it's only 30 pages long so I can't really I feel like that's not enough substance for me to give it a rating. And then after that I read City of Lost Souls by Cassandra Clare. This is the fifth book in the Mortal Instruments series and I loved this one for some reason. I don't know why but I really enjoyed it. I don't know why. I don't know but I obviously can't give a synopsis since it's the fifth book. That would spoil everything. And then I read What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. This is a contemporary novel that follows a girl who lives on an island her whole life and it's just her story with this guy that she made a mistake with and blah 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 blah. So cute. Five out of five stars. It's a really cute story. Definitely a summer contemporary. So good. And finally, I read The Giver by Lois Lowry. I reread this because I read it in grade six for school, but I reread it um, so then I can go and see the movie, and I loved it all over again. It's such a classic, iconic dystopian. Definitely, if you love dystopian, or even if you don't, read this book. It's amazing. So that is all for my wrap up for the month of August. I'm not even going to attempt to pick them up. I already did my thumbnail and everything so I'm not going to bother picking them up again. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, an August book haul will be coming to you very soon. So I'll see you there. Bye! That was an awkward wave.